How did the opium wars impact China? The Opium Wars, which took place between 1839 and 1860, had a significant impact on China and its history. Here is a detailed overview of the major events and consequences of the Opium Wars. Background in the early 19th century, China was ruled by the Qing dynasty, which maintained a policy of isolationism and had strict regulations on foreign trade. British merchants, facing a trade imbalance with China due to the high demand for Chinese goods like tea and porcelain, began importing opium from British-controlled India to offset their trade deficits. The rapid increase in opium consumption among the Chinese population led to social and economic problems, as well as a drain on China's silver reserves. First Opium War, 1839-1842 In 1839, the Chinese government, led by Commissioner Lin Zexu, launched a campaign to eradicate opium by confiscating and destroying British opium stocks in the port of Canton. In response, the British government sent a military expedition, which defeated the Chinese forces and occupied several coastal cities, including Hong Kong. The Treaty of Nanjing, signed in 1842, marked the end of the First Opium War. Its terms included the cession of Hong Kong to the British, the opening of several Chinese ports to foreign trade, the payment of reparations, and the granting of extraterritorial rights to British citizens. Taiping Rebellion, 1850-1864 The Opium Wars weakened the Qing dynasty, which was already facing internal problems leading to widespread dissatisfaction among the Chinese population. The Taiping Rebellion, one of the deadliest conflicts in history, erupted in 1850. It was a large-scale civil war led by Hong Shuquan, who claimed to be the younger brother of Jesus Christ. The rebellion aimed to overthrow the Qing dynasty and establish a theocratic state, advocating for radical social and land reforms. Although the rebellion was eventually suppressed by the Qing government with the help of foreign powers, it further weakened China and resulted in immense loss of life and destruction. Second Opium War, 1856-1860 The Second Opium War was triggered by a series of incidents, including the seizure of a British-registered ship by Chinese authorities and the murder of a French missionary. British and French forces launched a joint military campaign, which resulted in the capture of Beijing in 1860. The Treaty of Tientsin, signed in 1858, expanded the terms of the Treaty of Nanjing and further opened up China to foreign influence. It legalized the opium trade, allowed Christian missionaries to operate in China, and granted additional territorial concessions to the foreign powers. Consequences the Opium Wars had a profound impact on China, both politically and economically. China was forced to open up its ports to foreign trade and grant extraterritorial rights to foreigners, undermining its sovereignty and control over its own affairs. The wars also exposed the technological and military weaknesses of the Qing dynasty contributing to a decline in confidence in the imperial government. The unequal treaties signed during this period set the stage for further foreign encroachments on 
Chinese territory and led to a century of humiliation. As China was subjected to increasing foreign influence and territorial concessions, the Opium Wars and the subsequent events fueled nationalist sentiments and laid the groundwork for the eventual collapse of the Qing dynasty and the rise of revolutionary movements in China. Overall, the Opium Wars were a turning point in Chinese history, marking the beginning of China's modern era and exposing its vulnerabilities to foreign powers. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell. And let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.